This is a HeadGum Podcast. Hey, bitch. What is your whole deal? Hey, bitch. Just tell us how you feel. You wished for a sign from above. Well, here's a podcast about boy sex, fucking dating, and love. Seek treatment. If you're boring as fuck, seek treatment. If you're unlucky in love, seek treatment. If you just can't take a hint, well, seek treatment. Ha. With Kat and Pat. And Pat. And, and this, this is Seek Treatment, Treatment, a podcast about boys, sex, fucking, dating, and love. love. I'm actually emotional. Are you? We- <laughs> <laughs> wow, why is that funny? <laughs> because we haven't. I know. Because we haven't recorded since since July, Jul- June, June. No, July for sure. Not August because that's when I had my stroke. Right. And we haven't I, recorded since I, I had a stroke. And we definitely surgery. recorded in July. I know that to be true. Okay. Yeah. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Um, what was it? So much has think? happened to us since we recorded last. So much has happened. Should it's we just crazy. give little like life updates? Yeah, just mini updates. Yeah, mini updates. Mini up. New segment, mini updates. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, on August 1st, I was able to experience a stroke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how was that experience? Uh, it was horrible. Uh, yeah. Well, I was, I, I don't know if I've told you the story. Surely I have. Yeah, I'm sure you I have. I mean, I'm in on the pod, but yeah, we haven't yeah. done it in so long, then, of totally. course. Um, first of all, I'm admiring, first of all, let's just say, first of all, we're so excited. Like we've been, we've been talking about this for a hundred years to have chairs. That's why I'm emotional. Yeah. We've always we have chairs wanted chairs. And cans. We, we do have producers. They are not behind glass, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have two gorgeous producers. We're sitting in vel- velvet chairs. Yeah. We yeah, have artwork, but we're finally being like treated like how we deserve to be treated. You know what? Oh, so this cactus doesn't, huh. this cactus doesn't work. <laughs> and then it doesn't hurt if it I remember I always remember getting a cactus for my yeah. desk a desk cactus I remember touching it and it pricked me and it hurt and I was like it works yeah <laughs> just like in the movies yeah <laughs> the cactus is cactusing yeah um I can see your your soul leaving your body. No, it's like not leaving it, but it reminded me of something. Sure. And why wouldn't it? And why wouldn't it? Um, Do you know what I want so badly what? right now? I'm sorry. <laughs> what? I want to be out in the wild at an event. Uh-huh. See someone from across the room. Mm. Like have a spark mm-hmm. and like chat all night. Mm. And then have like seven dates with them. But then I end it. That sounds incredible. Uh, yeah. I end it and move on and don't get hurt. By date four, you're like, I don't know if this is it. And then you keep going three more, and then you're like, I'm done. Yeah, and then I see, and then I go to another event and see someone else. Is the sex the electric right away? I think so. And then what happens? Like you just um, you fall out of step. Would you say you fall out of step with that person? I think like in some way where neither of us get hurt, it's just like <laughs> not right. But we're it's not, one of those relationships where no one gets hurt. We're uh-huh. not friends after we actually never see each other again. Okay, and that's okay. That's why you need to travel and meet people in other countries. I know. Remember, I did. But that then with that. WhatsApp, no one's safe. Well, remember my um. No one's safe with WhatsApp. Remember my true whirlwind in um yep. London every day. Yeah, that person told me happy birthday. That's what those people are for. <laughs> That's what those people are for. I know. He Birthday might have a boyfriend. Birthday is, the, is the, the hall pass of talking to someone. That, like That person might have a boyfriend now. Sure. That person, I think, is 30. I, I, it's funny. You know, I'm, sorry. What's your story about your stroke? <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's, it's irrelevant at this point. Oh, no, it's no, not. No, I've it's had very... a stroke. Sure, we all, we've all had strokes. It's germane. <laughs> <laughs> my new thing is you know i was working on a show and um i was working on a show in the spring and like a rabbi came in to mm-hmm, consult and mm-hmm. he talked to us for like two hours and he kept saying things were germane <laughs> and i i will go on record saying i didn't like that rabbi but yeah. i thought it was interesting an interesting word to use and I'm, I'm gonna start using it which means the masses will now start using it i'll have to stop because it'll feel <laughs> antiquated <laughs> Yeah, famously. Yeah. <laughs> famously that. Uh, God, it's so funny how like, I know. some people can borrow from what I've created and I'll feel nothing. Mm-hmm. But when the wrong person borrows from what I've created, Her. it's really bad. People though. are plucking from the oeuvre yeah. at an alarming rate. Um, I'm okay because I don't care about external validation anymore. Me neither as of like truly seven minutes ago. <laughs> Um, what was I going to say? I had a crisis yesterday, but there was a, l- upwards of 10 women experiencing crisis yesterday. Oh, interesting. And then so, me, a man. And then, <laughs> why are you, as a man, <laughs> experiencing a crisis? <laughs> I'm excited because we have to get into, because you know what I'm jonesing to do. 
cancel a small business. <laughs> <laughs> what? What, what small you do? business did I cancel yesterday? Yesterday, you so, uh, for, like, I forget if we even did this when the last time the call was on. <laughs> Sometimes, oh yeah, we did. Like we did. The it. Demi jumps out, and I have to cancel. A yeah, small but business. yesterday we, we wasn't on our own podcast. I know, but what business? It was did like I... Sal's at Lucia's. Sal's at Lucia. It was like Lucy at Sally's. It was like oh a no, restaurant. no 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 no. It was Genevieve at Safi's. Same Genevieve thing. is the Genevieve is How the chef. Was I? But it was Safi's the restaurant and Genevieve is their chef. The waiter <laughs> was being very performative sure. about how he presented each dish mm-hmm. and the le- amount of information he gave towards each dish, towards us about each dish. Yeah. And so I was already kind of at my wits end with this young man. And then... Location tag, wits end. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Um, it came time for dessert. It's been well documented on this podcast that I am a chocoholic. <laughs> and so, recovering. <laughs> not not re- yet. Not, not yet, yet ready. Recovery. I'm not ready yet. Yeah. And um, so when this young man was presenting us with the dessert options, it kept being fruit-based, fruit-based, fruit-based. Mm. And I, of course, as a chocoholic, am waiting for the chocolate option. And the so element. He, the, I, well, so then when he ends, I have to ask the question, do you have anything with a chocolate element? And he says, and this is on October 14th, 2023. And he says, let the record show. Let the record show. And October 14th, 2023, he said, looks me in my eye and he says, well, Genevieve, that's our chef. She only likes to do chocolate stuff during the fall. (laughs) Can you imagine having to respond to that in front of some of today's biggest stars? Uh, and if it, imagine me having heard this now on two podcasts. <laughs> yeah. having to react, and also having to react, off air. Yeah. And, and off air. This is my third time hearing the story. I still can't. I'll, I still can't believe. I'll never stop telling the story. If there was a date that you said. <laughs> and then I have stop. to go to him. I have to say, in front of some of today's biggest stars, I'll have to come back during the fall. I say that on October 14th. And if you, if, yeah. On October 14th, I'm telling you, man, I'm going to come back during the fall. <laughs> you said, what, when's the fall? I'd say October 14th. Totally. 14. I had to tell you something. The way my brain is processing information right now, but I, of course, can't do it on air. Unless we cut it out. Can no, we're we not do- doing that. We no. Can, can we not cut things out? Let's, no. I just want, No, but let's okay, it just. Let, but let's just start a precedent where we're not like texting them Ye- in the middle of the night being like, why yeah, did we do that? Totally, totally. And keep that in. Keep that in. Keep that yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're starting. We're starting a clean slate with our amazing new producers. Um. I don't feel as snatched as I like could feel. I looked in the mirror after I peed before I came to sit here, and I was like. That's stupid. And then I was like, you know what? You can't love yourself from hating yourself. You have to love yourself from a place of love. And so I said, I love you, girl. Um. Oh, my God. Okay. I have to go. <laughs> what? I think I have like a sidekick now. <laughs> <laughs> no, what? <laughs> Nothing. No, go, look what's going on with me. Do you do fake tanner? <laughs> okay, so I don't have fake tanner, but a former lover told me about this product. Like, it's just a Jergens product. Oh, that, like, Jergens Natural Glow? Yeah. That was me in, like, the sixth grade. <laughs> well, it's helping. I would, I would, I'd only put it up to my knee, like, above my knees. Oh, uh, like, above your knees. I would put it, like, to where my school skirt stopped. Well, what I I'm put s- Jergens Natural Glow up to where my school skirt hit. <laughs> well, what I'm, what, I'm, what I'm struggling with is, like, of course I put it on my front. Uh-huh. And then I, put, I do put it on my butt. And what then, about the back? Well, that's Attached what I'm saying. Is it, is it good? Well, I can't reach it. So I'm kind of like. Where's the cutoff? It, well, as far as I could reach. So then I'm kind <laughs> of like, what? am I just going to be only tan everywhere except for just not my back? But now I'm having something where because my hands are always getting it. Now my hands are kind of like extra tan, especially between my fingers. I mean, this is like the thing. I, it's I've just seen it so many times. Oh, really? For me, it's young my... women in my community have had that happen to them all the time. I've never had this happen to me, and no one in my community has ever. Are had this you happen. kidding me? My seventh grade shout out. I will. Uh, uh, she will not go name. There was a girl in my seventh grade class, um, who would, I just every day so much. Yeah, I actually start to feel bad. I just you know now it makes me sad because I'm like oh my god we were all trying so hard. Oh my god! But I didn't know. I tried like two years ago. I bought the Ash. This is so embarrassing. I bought the like Ashley Graham. Santrope blow. Oh, someone blow told glow me. A kit. former boss told me that that was good. I mean, is it good? No, I wore it and then I put on a white dress and it. I sweat the tanning through it onto the white dress. I um. So okay, should we continue our mini update? Who are we texting? I'm not texting. I'm tech. I'm checking. Because remember the this thread is, you posted. Well, this is what we have to talk about. Sure, go ahead. Well, um, and and let's back to my stroke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, go off about your go off about your stroke. No, I just had a I just had a really difficult few months. I know, so I'm <laughs> saying like this is your opportunity. This is your platform. <laughs> I well, for those who are interested, um, look. So 
uh, Asterix looks away from Pat. For those that are interested, <laughs> I, um, I didn't know that I was born with this thing in my heart called a PFO. I'm sorry, I'm watching. I just can't. I actually can't even talk about this now. Why? You because think you're not listening. I am listening. No, but it's okay that you're not. I am. Um, I know what you're thinking about. What am I thinking about? <laughs> I have to tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> can you tell me a way that we could that can keep keep in? Mm, <clears throat> I can try. Oh, <laughs> okay. So what I mentioned earlier, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I mentioned after the thing I mentioned earlier, the thing I the, the thing I did after. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so the thing I did after exactly like one thing I heard about uh-huh. because the, uh-huh. d- during that, yep, the person the person was talking to, yep, I'm um, that, I'm, I'm a hundred percent with you. <laughs> that person who mm-hmm. the person was talking to said something like said something that made me wonder what's been said about me. Uh-huh. And the thing that was said, and let's see if I can do this, is <laughs> like, is that they were glad the person. Uh-huh. It seemed like, um, it seemed like the third party. Yeah. Un- was different understood. than me in a way. Understood. Didn't work in my industry. And it seemed like the, the person the person was talking to. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Said that's good. Which makes me <laughs> wonder, was I cast dispersions against was i misunderstood i believe that that person could have not felt maybe i think just to to take a step it up maybe it was a rock and a star situation yeah to bring it back to one of our og episodes yeah red old titleman oh that was who that was red old titleman taught us about rock and star wow i've been a happily married woman yeah i've been seeing you know she helped me with uh so it's my new year's resolution to do my self-tapes this is actually okay. so funny. Okay. So I get one and in. And I'm laughing. And I'm course, like. I'm already laughing. I'm getting one in and it's literally, this is literally. The, the strike's fun. over. But, sorry. What? Nothing. I'm just thinking about industry and how it's broken. But, yeah. <laughs> but we're in it. So. But we're here to stay. We're in it and someone else isn't and that's better, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess no, I should have never to, been in it. I actually am here to stay. Even though this industry is hell, it's also, it's home. This industry is hell and home. It's hell and home. A title of episode. Hell up, hell this, and home. this industry is hell this and home. This industry is hell and home. <laughs> and, and this is our first, I mean, it's, it's not our first time recording in LA, but it's our first time in our new home in LA. Yeah. So we found a home in a hell. Yeah. We found a home in a hellful place. <laughs> we found home in, in a, a hellful place. place. Okay, so you got a tape. So I get a tape and it's December, but I'm like, why don't I go ahead and start my New Year's resolution earlier? Why don't I do this self-tape? Yeah. Crazier yeah. things have been done. The addition, I'm sure. This... By a man living in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that this is okay to say because I'm sure I will not book. The audition is for a gay assistant in The Smile 2. Oh my God, that would be your dream role. Well, see, so then I, <laughs> so I text Greta because like. You she... know that I'm friends with a girl who's The Smile? Zosie? No. Are you talking about the horror movie? Of course. Isn't Zosie Bacon like in that? I think she kind of looks like that girl. Okay, I think there's two people that... Brian's former co-star is the star of the Smile movie. Was she in Mayor of Easttown? Or is that Sozy Bacon? That's Sozy. I think she's in the Smile. Is it Sozy or Sozy? Hey, I could be wrong and it wouldn't affect my life. If it's Sozy or Sozy is... Above our pay grade. (laughs) A-M. It's it's A-M-B. A-M-B. It's A-M-P-T-P. (laughs) A-M-P. I bet she would like to come on the pod, though. I think she probably Lord would. knows we have mutuals. <laughs> <laughs> so now I ask Greta to talented. help me. I'm now having to go to Greta's house and I'm having to do the smile for Greta. Like, because that was one of the scenes. The other two scenes what, were... How, how, so I haven't seen the movie. Can you tell me what the smile is? So I actually hadn't seen the movie either. And now that we have a video element, why don't you show us the smile? I can't. Please. <laughs> I'm too vulnerable right now. Okay. It's like this? No, it's like... Well, so I was. I asked. I had to have Greta show me how the smile is. I bet she'd be so good at she it. She was incredible at it. She has an amazing face, and her smile was so scary. Yeah, I can't do mine. It's too vulnerable. Okay, well, I'm here when you're ready. Okay, and but then also it's one of those auditions where like the character has three lines, but they send you a six page. Scene. Oh, of course. So like, the person take, has to let's keep waste reading. as much time of yours as possible. <laughs> yeah, let's have your friend read nine different parts for like two <laughs> hours, and then you say, "Anyone need anything?" <laughs> yeah. My book. Maybe. I need you to be in the smile too because I want to go to the premiere with you. I know. I need to start going to events. Maybe that could be the event. Yeah. Where you could have a spark. I don't know that I go to enough things. I feel that way all the time. I am such a homebody. Well, you know, astrologically, Ruby says that we should rest for the next few weeks. But oh, the things me? are auspicious in the new year. I have to go to this astrologist who told my um sponsor about the about COVID. pandemic. Yeah. You know what I can't stop doing? There's COVID on the planes. 
What's that from? <laughs> from that song everyone loves. There's COVID on the planes. Okay, there's a song that a guy on TikTok wrote, and now he's the most famous person in the world. That Brian Jordan Alvarez quoted. <laughs> did he? He did a song that he did a song, and it literally oh yeah changed oh, oh, oh yeah sorry sorry yeah. Brian Jordan Alvarez coded yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah it is it is BGA coded. What do you think I say coded? I think he said he quoted. No, he didn't quote. But that. I'm here for you. <laughs> um, this guy did a TikTok song. He's very talented, and now he's the most famous person in the world. And there's a lyric in the original TikTok song where he goes. There's COVID on the planes. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? No. Are you serious? Okay, you are so will know. like in the TikTok Thank world you. that it's almost like I know. It's like it's that's how I am with gay threads. Well, yeah. Tell tell our <laughs> listeners what you said five minutes ago, and I said, "What are you even?" All three beautiful women in this room go, "What are you talking about, Pat?" Which is so funny to me because it's like such a huge part of my world. So go at the beginning. A Basically, very good place I to go. I'm on threads, and I enjoy when I have funny thoughts sharing them. Like threads to me, it's like it's where I go to see like you, and then no one. Else. <laughs> Listen to this. Yeah, I actually threaded today. Did oh you well you quoted my thread? Yeah, but I did something else. Oh, okay. You know why? Because I got this weird email from the Strategist, a website I love that makes me spend too much money, and the sub it's like a gift guide, and the subject line was. Um, a gift for your sibling who's a hot sleeper. Oh, I'm a hot sleeper. Yeah, but why are like, your oh. sibling? <laughs> I wish I was a sibling. <laughs> <laughs> I could have had the couch. But I was like, why would you say my? I just didn't sit right with me. So I. I'm gonna see how it's doing. Okay. I, while I'll you tell, while I, you explain okay, your community. Okay. Well, why don't we? Why don't you see how yours is Look doing? Look at us being literally the white stripes. I, look, we're Jack and Meg White. Look at us. I know. Look at it. Look at this. Wow, that's show cool. Your you, I can't believe you knew both of the Stripes' names. Yeah, well, you know, I just did a show at Ew, their this venue. This is not doing well. Venue. Should I delete it? No, it's not how it goes. I need to be in a Ryan Murphy show. Tick tock on the clock because the party. You're doing I, really great. 16 likes on a gay thread. For threads? No, but for gay threads. What is gay threads? <laughs> okay, so gay threads, I don't know what it, where it came from, but all of a sudden, all the gay people on threads. They post something and they say gay threads in their post with no space. And then it shows up on every gay person's So timeline. should I do gay threads? I guess, but I don't know. Ever since I licked three pussies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but so because if I, since I posted mine on gay threads, like it should be showing up on a lot of gay people's timelines. And if it's, so if it doesn't have more likes than it currently does, it means it's not a hot picture. <sighs> I don't know. I don't <sighs> I saw a picture of Paul Mescal on my phone and I stopped thinking. Um, so you were saying that you're have have just I want to I want to learn about your world. Have you had a photo that's done really well on Gay Threads? I feel like your mom. I'm like, honey. <laughs> well, so well, what can you help me? Like, what what's has frustrating been frustrating well? is like yeah. a week ago I I I I just so happened and to take like the hottest picture of my life. Mm. I'm so sorry I, that happened to you. And I threaded that, but it was like literally the day before Gay Threads started. So it when did Gay? <sighs> I don't know when it. It just came into my life and everyone was posting gay threads. Can I see some of your gay threads? I only no, have... No, no, sorry, sorry. Don't scream at me. <laughs> Can I see some of the community's gay threads? I don't threads? know how to see, like, all the gay threads compiled. But you're convinced there's, like, a... I just know keep, that, there's like... There's, like, a keeper of the gay threads. I just know that, like, as someone who's gay on my timeline, if someone posts... You're gay? <laughs> if someone... Even someone I've unfollowed, like, if they post something and say gay threads, it comes up on my timeline. And so, like, timeline. I wish that my last... What a beautiful word. Like, I wish that came up on Gay Threads. I wish... I want you to have that, too. But instead, it's, like, this worst one. Which one? Actually, in some ways, it's better. Oh, thank God. I definitely look tanner. You're really tan. That Jergens glow is glowing. I know. Oh, God. Ugh. So you didn't go on a date last night, I assume. No, and the person got kind of, like... Aggro. Terse? Yeah, but yeah. I was kind of, like... Well, it just wasn't the vibe because like he was cute on Hinge and like I thought that on Hinge we were kind of connecting. And then when we moved to text, I just could tell. It. Well, no, because then he was like, pick me up in your car and we'll figure I don't out a like thing that. to do. And I was just like, I don't never met you before. I'm not picking up in my car. Exactly. You need to, to meet someone in a public space. So I kind of was like, and I did have to write. So I was like, I have to write actually. Actually, I'll read out. I'll read how aggro it was because oh, I can't wait. You'll be like, this so, is vintage. You, it's it was so scary. Oh my god! And, and, okay, this is so funny. So, hi, it's beep. <laughs> Parenthetical from Hinge. What time are you available? Uh, whatever, whatever. I think whatever, whatever. My six thirty. Yeah, that work. If you like, just come park in my street, and I'll hop in. Slash, we'll figure out what we want to do then. Hmm. So I'm like not feeling great about that, and I also but was it, just, maybe he was saying just park on his block, not pick him up. Oh. And you guys would walk somewhere together. 
maybe should I have gone? Well, okay, so then I go, I'm just feeling weird about it. So I go, Ugh, I'm so sorry. I'm on a deadline and I think I now have to stay in tonight to write. Then he goes, you're going to cancel last minute <gasps> and not suggest something else, question mark. <gasps> but then tongue out emoji. Like, oh, like he's being like flirty. Then he goes, thought you were super free, devil smiley face. Yeah. Then he goes, I hope you're aware that it's a little <gasps> bit strange to cancel oh. one to two hours before a meeting for the first time and not suggest to meet another day. Or am I completely off here? So then I go, I am sorry, exclamation point. At this point, I'm like, I will never well, see this obviously, person. Yeah. if he knew you, that's the worst way to get you to do anything. So <laughs> I go, I am sorry. I didn't expect my I'm like on his side. But... I, I didn't expect my, my editor to email. He goes, that can happen. Oh. But, but all you're doing is canceling <gasps> and not suggesting to me another time soon. Oh, wow. You want to meet another time? Oh, oh no. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> if so, LMK when winky, winky emoticon, not even emoji. He's unhinged. So then I go, sure, I'm going out of town Thursday to next Tuesday. Oh, God. Wanna pick a place to meet when I can get back? Because I'm like, I will meet you at a space. I see, I see, I see. Well, so fair. then he goes, you don't have time this week before Thur? So then he goes, side note, and then uh, greater than sign. I'm pretty direct. And when I'm curious about something or someone, I tend to get impatient. You seem like a cute slash handsome guy with an interesting twist. <laughs> <laughs> so I rather meet you sooner than later, even if it's in between errands. No, but no. Also, totally fine to meet next week. Space next paragraph. Oh, and if all no, this, no. And, and if all this comma sounds like too much, and you're wondering who this guy is anyway, okay, yeah. Then I understand. Tongue out emoji. Then kissy face emoji. That's really scary. So it's just not gonna. I don't think he's. My I don't match. know. If that's your person. I don't know if he's my. <laughs> I don't know if he's my lobster. <laughs> 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 oh, like I feel for him. Yeah, and he's probably sounds like he's been burned. But has he been burned? Like it's just too much text. It's just I don't know. I think like between errands, like I don't know if we owe each other so much as people mm -hmm. that like exchange no. four different like things on a Hinge app, no. and then like, and then you said want to park outside my place and figure out what we want. Yeah. It's like. I don't know that I owe you a ton. A million. Yeah. A million and ten. <laughs> yeah. It's really like, it's worse to cancel a second date. Yeah. Also, I think let's, like, people need to bring back, like, but And then even, even if you're, like, annoyed that I canceled, like, you can't do what he did. Take the, <laughs> take the L. Yeah, take, take the L. Take the L, as they say. Well, I hope that person finds their lobster. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and in the meantime, I hope your lobster winks at you at an event. I know. At an event. So since, so mini update. Mini update. I'm very single. I'm having an amazing life. Um, <laughs> you are. I, you're um, literally like, you know, I already told you this. Yeah, I yeah. am loving life. No, your life is amazing. You, ha you have everything you wanted for a really long time. Yeah. You have an amazing. But you know what I keep Not that it matters. Your body's amazing. I know that it matters. Book deal. <laughs> TV writer. I mean, I know, but it's like so. An Apartment am... in LA. Money. Yeah. Beautiful friend. People are going to get mad at me if you keep saying things. Why? People don't like if I have money. Like, the listeners want me to be literally, like, in I a know. sublet with nine roommates, like, <laughs> borrowing people's, like, clothes. Like, really? that's what the listeners want I feel like me. you deserve money. I feel like people don't like that I like to buy $400 jumpsuits. Someone once tweeted about me. I'll never forget this. And I want to wish this person nothing but delight. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, that dumb fucking bitch. All she talks about is loving iced coffee at the West Village and $400 jumpsuits. And I was like, well, first of all, I don't drink iced coffee. Yeah. Second, Second of, of all, all, I love the West Village. And third of all, uh, $400 is reasonable for the right jumpsuit. And, fourth, and fifth of all, if I recall, it was a straight man. It was a straight a man. A man who purported to be straight. But it's like, I couldn't, I even am gay and couldn't tell you how much money a single jumpsuit does. Yeah, but clothes lately are straight. I know. <laughs> I need to That return. person's ill. And that person actually apologized to me. And I, I said, I didn't say anything physically, but if I was ever in a room with them, I would have police come escort me out. Yeah, 1,000% 10. Um, repository. <laughs> <laughs> 1,000% and we'll throw on a 10. I will we'll throw on 10 to that. Your life is amazing is what we were talking about. Um, Our lives are both amazing. We have to remember that because you know I get down. Yeah, and you know I get down. But you know I'm letting my light shine. I'm figuring myself out. I have to get to know myself <laughs> in, coming, in coming days. Sorry, coming days. We're um, letting, okay, first of all, this year, even though it's December right now, for me, the year is completely over. Yeah. January uh, is going to be everything. You know, I, um, what was they going to say? Well, the strike really affected me, by the way, mentally and Do you know that it ruined my life? Yeah. <laughs> you know that it ruined my life. I don't yeah. want to talk about it too much on the pod, but um, the strike, even though it will hopefully be good for future performers and actors, it has taken so much from me. 
Yeah, it like. But it'll be worth it for everyone else. <laughs> and I'm being positive, and I'm okay with it. I just and there'll be something new around the corner. It really affected my mental health. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I'm glad it's over, and something new will always delight us. Yeah, and something new will always arrive. What was I going to say? Yeah. So we have to give the, an update. About who? This thing. So we, when we left off, I had adopted April Dreams. Um, it just wasn't right for me. And I was going through a really hard time and I couldn't do it. And I, my dear friend, a social worker, was looking for a dog to give a beautiful home and life to. And it felt like the right thing to do. And so we keep in touch. And April's doing wonderfully. But I was not ready. And I thought I was, but I wasn't. I know. You had to take care of yourself. I wish I could take a lot back. In what way? Um, well, I'm just happy April's happy. But anyways. And then. Just I know. The... It kind of breaks. To be honest, it kind of broke my heart. But. Yeah. I know you had to take care of yourself and your sobriety. Yeah. And I am glad you're doing better. Yeah. And I know that April's happy, so I'm okay. Yeah. Yeah. But things are looking brighter. Things are looking brighter. What other update were you thinking of? Um, what other update was I thinking of? Well, I moved to Los Angeles. I know. It is. I think I did underestimate how difficult it is to move across the country. Mm, how so? Um, just you really start over. Like you really start over. And I think because I know a lot of people here, like I didn't think that would be as much of a thing. Yeah. But it just like you really in a way feel like you're starting from scratch. You also grew up on the East Coast. So it's like your entire yeah. life. When, yeah. In what ways do you feel like you're starting over here, though? Because it's like you have your know. gym, you have your friends, you have your job, you have your house. I know, but the gym is new. The friends are different. Mm -hmm. The like, and driving culture. And like the work has been different because of the strike. Yeah. So you, it's not like I'm like. The timing was tough. Yeah. The timing was really tough. And like. But God was testing you. But I love driving. I love having a car. Your car's really beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um. I do keep thinking of the line from Making the Bed by Olivia Rodrigo. Got the things I wanted. It's just not what I imagined. Or Billie Eilish's line, um, the things I once enjoyed just keep me employed now. Yeah. I know. Um, I'm trying to find... You know, no matter what we get, we will feel this way, so... Yeah. I'm trying to find my joy. I, I do have, like, an intense urge to change the past, but I'm told that you can't. Hmm. Let me check on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so annoyed about my post. <laughs> <laughs> Should I not have posted that? No. What do you say? Okay. Yeah. People need to like, uh, if you're listening to the pod, you need to like be introducing me to new fun gays. I know. Yeah. I don't know what you feel safe saying, but like, yeah, Pat's ready to meet someone really special. Yeah. I am ready to meet someone really special. So if you're, um, if you come from a good place, <laughs> like emotionally. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you come from an emotionally good place. I just want to have fun and I want to like. You want to feel seen. I want to feel seen. I feel like a lot, like, tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like a lot of times he, there's people who kind of, like, admire you or want to be like you. Yeah. And so they're drawn to you, but you want someone who's really secure in themselves and, like, really full and full without you. Yeah. Do you agree with that? And I want someone who, like, I feel myself around, I've learned. Yeah, that's, like, <laughs> I know, that's but really important. <laughs> I know. I, I'm having a self journey where I'm kind of, like, I've seen a couple versions of myself in recent like chapters that I don't haven't seen before. So my therapist <gasps> is kind of like, that's why you feel crazy. Like mm. you've never seen this version of yourself and you don't understand it. And it is true. It is scary. And I do think like, yeah, I just, it's so funny. Cause like in my late twenties or like my first few years of sobriety, I felt so independent. And so like, I knew myself so well and I didn't need anybody else. Mm -hmm. And I've just seen some parts of myself that were so eager for validation lately. And so eager for like approval from certain people. And like, I don't know, it just isn't familiar to me for a little while. Like I, that's how I felt in my like early twenties. I kind of feel like life is about like, there's these little chunks where you like learn a lesson and you feel whole and complete and happy. And then you're faced with a new lesson right away. And then, so like you're yeah. starting, you completed one major cycle, especially seven years. It's like yeah. seven years, Saturn return, whatever. you seven years sober. Yeah. And you kind of felt like, probably like, oh, I've, I've accomplished so much. And no, you got all these things you wanted. And then it's now you're like having this new, yeah. and it's Olivia. <laughs> and it's Olivia. I know. And now it is also like, I also think like my career was so important to me of like getting certain things, mm -hmm. like 
and then getting them, I kind of like lost my luster for my career in a way that mm. like not having that like little high from like getting working towards this thing of getting in TV writing rooms, like not having that little high to keep like being a carrot on the stick. I kind of turned to other people like, well, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course. And so I want to get excited about my career again. I feel like I need to watch a bunch of like really well written scripted. What TV about our shows. movie? I the know. one you're writing for me. I know. I that told could to, get you excited. I told it to a lady at Hulu. She like, I couldn't tell if she liked it. <laughs> but she doesn't matter. I know. No offense. But I love her. I'm just saying like, no one's going to save us. I know. It's I about, know. it's all up to us. Uh, yeah. And I feel like you being excited about these new essays is like the greatest gift in the world. It's like the best feeling in the world. Yeah. I wrote two essays this week that I really like. Well, how, I wrote great was, how great was September. the time interview with Taylor? You know, I didn't read it because the picture scared me. I know what you mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. It's a great interview in, in which she says, like, just how you have to keep returning to the work because that's all that matters. I know. And the best, the best poll quote was, of course, trash takes itself out every time. <laughs> oh, you she said that? You, she goes, you don't have to get back at people. You don't have to win. Yeah. The trash takes itself out. Oh, my God. Time. I have to read the time interview. Yeah, it's great. And then she talked about, like, at the end, all it is ever, 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 ever about is creativity and making something. I know. She said that, like. I read that on Google. Like Googling. you read that on Google. <laughs> yeah, not even from that interview. From a different interview, when they were like, she would, they were like, get asking her her best advice. Me, who's been making the best? And she was like, no matter what, stop making your art. But I was in a place never, no matter what, stop making your art. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever you are, put down the pencil. <laughs> um, put down the paintbrush, sweetie. I um. I remember her, she was like, no matter how you feel, no matter what, like, don't stop making your art. But I was like, I can't right now. But I will say these essays that I'm like finishing up today, like I did write them in September when I was a shell of a person and like was speed writing them, not even thinking what I was doing and thought they were trash and didn't even look back at them. And then when I looked back at them with a more sober mind, they're really good. So it's like, yeah. I thought I couldn't, but maybe also, I could Also, don't stop. Mean, stop means like stop for good. I feel like pausing is different than stopping. Yeah. And it, sometimes... You have to pause. The way she was saying it was kind of like, don't even pause. Oh, okay. Well, respect. She was like, do it through. Go through it. Yeah. Only way out is. Through. Through. It. Through it. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Um, yeah. So my mini update was basically, I was, what? I was supposed to go to the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Yes. And I was packing my suitcase. Yes. And I felt really dizzy. Oh, my God. And then I knew something was wrong, so I called my boyfriend. And then I went to like pause the TV while I was talking to him, but then it, it wasn't Pause. pausing. Yeah. It paused. <laughs> and I was like, why is the TV not pausing? And I was like, oh my God, it's because my arm isn't moving. And so my arm wouldn't move. Oh my God. And I was like, I feel like I just, I actually can't even talk about it because it makes me feel Did you feel scared. like you were moving your arm? Like, yeah. Oh my God. So I was like, and then I was back and I could move my arm and I was like, okay, something really bad just happened. Yeah. So then I walked myself down Cornelia Street. I'll never walk Cornelia Street again. Yeah. yeah. And, and I went to the city MD and I was like, so I think I just had a stroke. And they're like, Okay. And they sent me to the ER. And then there, and this is the whole story that I'll tell, whatever. But anyways, after many scans, they found out that I didn't, I have what's called a TIA, but my brain scan showed that I'd had an old stroke. An old one. Yeah. So I'd had a stroke since I'm in the last like seven years, but I don't know when. Oh my God, since I got sober. Since you got sober. Since I, well, you were getting sober, I was stroking out. Yeah. And then they were like, very, I was like, okay, my life's over. And very quickly, they, very quickly, thankfully, they were like, it's probably caused by this heart defect. And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, yeah. first my brain, now my heart. Girl, slow yeah. your roll. Yeah. Those are two of my, those are two of my biggest big, ones. Biggest heart um, organs. My majors. Yeah. Did your, did your bio teacher love to like do the trick question? What's your biggest? Um, yeah. Organ. And People love like, that. Yeah. Teachers Body, 98% water. Is it? I don't think so. Yeah. Look at it. Do you look at it? Remember when there were, do you remember like getting a test back and like going over the answers like once you got your grades yeah. and there being one that someone was like, I feel like it really could have been D too. And the teacher was like, <gasps> and the teacher's like, you know what? It, it, yeah, it could be D. If, yes. you, if you put D and got it wrong, yes. come up give and I'll give you the points. points. Give yourself three points. <laughs> that is so raw. Yeah. That is so real and visceral. Uh, I know. Anyways, like, well, you need to stay in the hospital to do a heart scan. So I slept in the hospital, which I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. And then they did the ultrasound and pretty quickly they were like, you have this thing called a PFO. Uh, we can plug it up. Anyways, so they put me in touch with all these doctors, whatever. I go home. I look on TikTok. I look up PFO. Haley Bieber has it. Are you serious? Haley Bieber has it. That's amazing. I felt in that moment like everything was going to be okay. You have such good... And I need her to be on the pod. Uh, 
You have such good icons because you have Haley Bieber for that. And mm-hmm. then Macy from Teen Mom has PCOS. Yep. So you My have, two girls. You have people who Father, pay- son, holy Christ. <laughs> um, You're, you you combine Haley Bieber and Macy from Teen Mom. Thank you. OG, of course. OG. That's so nice. <laughs> So then I then I had to keep but the sad part was I had to cancel my whole like I mean that wasn't the sad part. I'm being stupid. The sad the, the good part was that I found out it's been a lot of adjusting my mindset because at first I was mad that it happened. Yeah. Now I should be happy that it, it was prevented. Yeah. So I had the procedure and now I'm healthy. Yeah. But it's been a really rough few months. So hard. What did you say? Changing your mindset so hard because every time it starts to change, you're like, wait, don't change it. Do you know what I mean? A hundred percent. I keep doing that lately. A million and ten. Yeah, and you know what I'm doing it about. Of course. I'm like even like with something as simple as like wanting to be skinny, classic, classic yeah. thing. I'm like, okay, what would it be like to not want to be skinny? I'm like, I actually can't even comprehend that. Yeah. It's like when you're taught to believe in God and then you can't imagine a world where there isn't God. Yeah. My God is being skinny. I, <laughs> <laughs> well, I do believe in God. Me too. Oh, perfect. Great. <laughs> Last night, Chelsea was like, you're really talking about God a lot. I, I was like, well, I've been went... going through a difficult time, so you were t- you returned. How was Chelsea? Heaven on Earth. I almost asked to come, but I wasn't sure if you Would've guys wanted it. to grill out. Well, we were making self, we were doing self tapes, so it wasn't that exciting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's just my sister, and like, yeah. the universe bringing her, God, bringing her into my life. Yeah. When you're here in gift? January, we'll have to all hang out. 100 million. Maybe someone else will come. Garden? Yeah. I have news about the garden. Really? Is it? Converse to what I told yes. you the other day. Oh, wait. What did you tell me? Um, that the garden was partnered. Oh, no. That's true. Oh. Okay. So what's the news? I don't remember you told me that. Yeah. When did you tell me that? Um, when I brought him up and then I said he's partnered. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but someone told me this will be so bad if anyone figures out the garden. Is. Obviously. I feel like it's really obvious now. So is it? To, to, probably, if, to probably Chelsea only. But does our, she know? Our new producer girl is mad at us. You guys want us dead? It's not obvious. <laughs> I someone told me that the garden when I when I when I last spoke with the garden, it was so fun. I thought, and then <laughs> I it's always fun when you speak with the garden. <laughs> and then I asked our mutual friend mm-hmm. um, if the garden was partnered to a mm-hmm. person he was standing next to, and the friend said yes. But the friend said there is no sexual chemistry between them. If, if it's not gonna last. Obsessed. <laughs> I love for someone on the outside just just pop yeah. that in and there. The, and then I want to be clear: the person was basing that off of having drinks with them once. Of course, <laughs> you can tell when you know, you know. Yeah. Conversely, it's a good word. So, um, what's your news about the garden? It was what you already knew that they were partnered. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you. I don't live here, so I just found out. For me now, the news would be if they weren't partnered. <laughs> Since I, again, okay, so I'll keep my, I'll give that my call of new th- what things that will be news for Pat when they happen. Okay. The, um, the garden and finally admitting he has no sexual chemistry with his partner. <laughs> the garden. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyways, yeah, my update. So that was the summer, and then I was really lucky. I got to go to Australia. I feel like getting to do that trip was like breaking my seal post surgery. Yeah. You know. And now I'm back. So you know. And now how- I'm on tour. Yeah. And if you're listening to this, please get tickets to see me on tour. Yes, please get tickets. I'm so excited to go to Denver. I know. This will air after that. Otherwise, I would pump it up. Pump yeah. The jams. When will this air? January 16th. Wow. It's only 10 days after January 16th. I was just going to say <laughs> 10 days after the most important day. <laughs> well, we're performing. But we're going to be yeah. we're celebrating in Seattle. Um. So, wait. What was I going to say? Oh, you know how I don't like to date listeners of the podcast to the point where, like, if someone will, like, I don't think you could date a listener. Of the I podcast. couldn't date a listener of the podcast. I have an interesting in-between situation. I, uh, Air, AirPods around the world have been flung across the room. Yeah. Oh, I'm not listening. I'm not listening. I, and even like sometimes on Grindr or whatever, the apps, like I can tell and I won't do it. And like, and I'll block even. And like then, so I've been chatting with this one person on Hinge that I actually, you know when, I don't know if you can connect with us from your single guy days. Like, but you know when you're like, oh, this person I'm chatting with on Hinge, I've actually seen them. On, like, we do follow each other on Instagram, but we have no idea. Like, we've never met. and I don't know who this person is. It, it's like one of those. And then they revealed that they've listened to me only on Love It or Leave It. But they don't listen to this podcast. Oh, that's, that's safe. <laughs> yeah. That's safe. And they don't they know nothing about yeah, you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I had so much fun doing Love It or Leave It. Did you? Yeah. Is that interesting? Yeah. No, cool. I love Love It or Leave It. Cool. I love to do it. I actually was really bummed because he has... John has such fun parties, and there was one this past weekend that I was out of town for. I'd love to be included. I need to be going to those kinds of events. You definitely do. I'm actually I'm excited to spend more time here and visiting you. Yeah, and doing our podcast. Yeah, that we do together. 
Yeah. But, you know, Brian's going to move in. No, I, you didn't tell me that. I think he's going to move in. Real, to your to, to Cornelia Street. I can't leave Cornelia. <laughs> yeah, you can't. I it's just too cannot. Good. The deal is too good. The apartment's too good. Yeah. And he, because I'm traveling so much, the other day he was like, first of all, nothing but love. But he was just like, I want to talk more. And I was like, okay, why don't you just move in? Yeah. Like, enough's enough. He, like, said, he said he wanted to talk more. Yeah, like he wants to connect. Like, he literally is yeah. a thoughtful person. Oh, that's he loves so me. thoughtful. And he wants to, he literally was like, I want to spend more time with you. And I was that's like, That's wonderful. Isn't it crazy? Yeah. He is so amazing. Do I want a partner? It's, yeah, it's really good. I used to not want it. Well, wait and see who comes up. Yeah. I guess I just only want a partner if I like the person. <laughs> it's a lot of work. I, we've been through so much. Like, we yeah. have been through so much. Yeah. You know that I'm thinking of four major things. Four major things. I, I, can, I definitely know the first major thing. Okay. Is the second major thing kind of like <laughs> the reverse of the first major thing? Or is that not a major thing? Well, what, kind of is the first one. major thing what, what I'm thinking of? I would imagine. Yeah. And oh. so then the second major thing could be then. Well, second no, major thing good. is sort of like the bad thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then the th okay, so that then the third major thing. Hmm. I'm not sure. It's okay. We'll figure it out off air. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, four major bad things have happened to us. <laughs> um, We've been through four, four major hmm. difficult things and we're still standing. I wonder what I'll do for the holidays. I hate this picture. The one you posted? Yeah. Larry, no one's even commenting. That's well, first of all, is is this is your experience my experience around threads is that I open it and like the app doesn't even load. Is that y'all's experience? No. Okay, so it only works for gay people. <laughs> <laughs> threads only works if you're a gay man. Do you think it, do you think that people view me because I have been posting <laughs> thirst traps as not intellectual? Famously, no, I think he'll view you as single. Famously, Robbie Hoffman, who will be our I'm next very guest, excited to see her. I when I was contemplating posting a um kind of thirst shop, she told me that uh it's okay for me to post it because people think of me as intellectual, so people support it. They do. That people are people want to watch you shine sexually. Yeah. Someone at my Fort Worth show yelled out, I'm sex negative. That's your influence. Oh my God. Yeah. You know, I was doing the funniest bit at my um cousin's wedding this weekend because you know I have three straight brothers. What all three of their well, one of their wives and the other two of their girlfriends. And shout out to the one I had a sex dream about. <laughs> <laughs> May you rest in my, my brain. Three straight brothers, um, female partners mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. to this wedding wore a red lip. Yeah. So I kept being like whispering in their ear, Taylor's influence. <laughs> you got the red lip t shirt. Look. Taylor love... really did something for red lip. Well, you know, we've been taught oh yeah, we have, we have. Wait, yeah. My favorite era of Taylor is like when she had that kind of severe sh like shoulder length and then the red lip, like 1989 era. Interesting. My She looks better than ever right now to me. Totally. But that her was long like, hair with bangs is so fucking cute. Like I yeah. wish I could have bangs. You know, I'm going to try and get my hair long. Remember you had bangs. Oh, I know. I've been through so much. <laughs> <laughs> that was serious. <laughs> that was, you know, five major things. <laughs> okay. That was for Brian though. <laughs> I had bangs in my last relationship and my last relationship. Your last relationship though, like. That was the setting for you to have bangs. Do you know what I mean? hundred percent. Well, he kind of encouraged me to be a person that I wasn't in the, yeah. in the coolest way possible. If you ever, By the way, he's actually a good person. Yeah. If you ever were going to have bangs. It would be with that person. It would be with that person. I looked like a different person. Yeah. I was trying to be someone I was. Yeah. So interesting how relationships are. Yeah. You can live with someone for three years. Like I lived with someone with that person for three years. Ever. I know. It is really interesting. We've been doing this podcast for a while. I know. This I'm episode of this no, podcast. No, this I'm so happy to be in a studio. I know. This the fact that I don't have to upload this is like making me feel so at peace. Yeah, totally. The fact that I'm not like knowing that my mic isn't working for no reason. You must feel so good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I brought baked goods. I know. I feel like I'll eat a lot in Denver. I mean, not in Denver, <laughs> but like, I feel like knowing what oh, your- Oh, you know, I cook amazing food in Breckenridge. And well, like knowing what your mom said, I feel like she's going to be like- Well, my mother's sad because- She won't she's, make it. She's not, she's, I think she's going to arrive when you leave. Oh. But my dad will be there and me and then Brian will come and then oh, I think one of my brothers will be there. Maybe I'll meet someone at an event in Breckenridge. Oh my God, let's go out. Yeah. That, they definitely won't be listening to the podcast over there. It's yeah. very like- I know. Like- I'm scared about the altitude because, you know, I want to do my lifting and I'm like, mm -hmm. will I be able to? Mm -hmm. Because be I, did, okay. I did shows in Fort Collins last year and running was difficult, of course. I don't like when a city's like Fort. I know. Well, you were just in Fort Worth. <laughs> no, it's 
Where is the? I'm U.S. like, are you a fort or are you a city? I know. I just. Don't, I'm like, like where is like the? I'm scared of the military. It's I don't really, like yeah. It. Or, is that to, bad to say? To me, it makes me think of like being kids. Like, let's build a fort. Yeah, well, that's fun. That's purgatory. Yeah, but guys. I don't need that to be a city. Then I know. Grow I up. <laughs> a city should be one word. Yeah, but New York, Los oh Angeles. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> New York, Los Angeles. Okay, all my favorite cities: Lund, Space, Dunn. Yeah. <laughs> um, I know. Should I live in London instead? But then we'd be even farther apart. Is the issue? I can't date a thirty-three-year-old. I know that to be true. <sighs> I disagree. Look at Taylor; she's thirty-three. I know, but she's a girl. Is she really thirty-three? No, I think she must be thirty-four because I'm thirty-five and she's she's a, she's over a year older than me, which is the one comfort I have in this she's life. She's a year younger than me. You know, you're sick in the head when you're like comparing yourself to her. Do you know? What I don't it's know. like. Girl, Wait, the, you're not even close. The craziest thing happened. I say that with love and respect. It's like, girl, just celebrate. <laughs> Wait, let me show you something crazy. It's like... Show me that thing. I'm like, what's going on? Um, oh my God. One day, should we be like, flashed it up there? You're like, we don't do that. Isn't that a screen? Okay. Look yeah. at this post from Entertainment Tonight. It's Taylor kissing Travis Kelsey on the oh, let me see. cheek. Okay, that, but let me read the caption. He's kind of Brian. Whatever, whatever. Isn't he kind of Brian to you? Oh, definitely. Yeah, punk. Definitely dances like how Brian dances. Brian dances. Okay, there's this TikTok of Justin Timberlake dancing and everyone's making yes. fun of it, but it was how Brian dances. 1,000% <laughs> and 10. 1,000% plus at, look 10. Look at the photo credit. Can I, may I? Look at the photo credit. <gasps> <laughs> That's amazing. That's, the photo credit is Patrick Regan. That's a synchronicity. Something, oh so, my, the way he's, okay, I'm sorry. The way he's grabbing her is actually making my pussy wet. Someone, the way his hand is on her ass is yeah. so fuck. His hand is so big and she's, you know, he throws her around. I'm so happy for her. Taylor was devastated about Matt Healy. Oh, and then she, I wonder what his dick is like. Yeah. I feel like blocky. I can picture it. Blocky, I feel like. Almost. <laughs> Blocky's good. <laughs> for me. Yeah, we like to print. Like, we like to I, print. I feel like blocky to the point where there's like corners. <laughs> there's not corners. <laughs> there's not corners on Travis Kelsey's Square dick. Square peg in a round hole. <laughs> You think Taylor's pussy is drawn <laughs> Travis's is <laughs> rectangular cock. I don't ship them for good. They're not end game for me. I want to see your They're happy. definitely not end game. You guys don't think they're end game. I think they yeah. think they're end game. They are not end game. No, here's yeah, what I think. Game. You I, think? I think they'll get engaged, maybe even married, really? but it's. Wait, I don't think that at all. I, Did you watch Golden? I watched most of Golden. Remember, I watched it in your apartment. Oh, yeah. I, I ended up finding out what happened. What I actually don't even know what happened. This woman named Teresa won. Oh, that woman won. People were upset. Yeah, and then there was then there was this expose about him that like wasn't that bad. What was the expose? It was just that, like he said he owned restaurants and he didn't. It's like well, okay, I let remember, him have that. Well, like who cares? Everything about him is magnifying. This were, picture is porn. I know. People were kind of thinking like, by Patrick Regan. Everyone was like freaking out that he was like such a good guy because they showed in the first episode a picture of him and his late wife. And um, wait, what? In the first episode, like he he was he's oh, a widower. Oh yes, yes, yes. They showed a picture of him and his ex-wife. It made ex me cry. Wife. It made me cry. But everyone was like uh -huh. doing this thing where it's like, uh, like people were being like, "Oh my god, he's amazing!" Like his ex-wife like wasn't even hot. Like he I still know, loved so her. Evil. I know. Yeah. People are shy. And I will say his voice really took me out of it. Oh, a hundred. Yeah. Plus ten. Yeah. Oh, you really think they're end game? I have no horse in this race. You're, no, I I think they're like she's ready up. to do that. Well. Post Eras tour, I do think she's gonna get pregnant. Yeah. Oh. You don't think that? <laughs> I I don't know. Why are you guys gasping at me? Why don't she have the time? That's what I'm saying. It's like when the tour ends, she'll like take a second. I hope. I mean, the tour's ending in like two years. I feel like. <laughs> oh, so you're saying it's, it's a while from now. Wow. No, are you guys saying... on mic? I want you guys on mic. We are. Yeah, yeah we are. Keep I... us in. <laughs> I just think that. He, she needs someone equally as uh -huh. like. <clears throat> well, used no one's to the equal, but he and gets the famous. It. Yeah, he gets it. And the famous. And I don't um, think anyone else can handle that lifestyle. I like that he's. Yeah, he's kind of giving my boyfriend, and that he's just like sexy. Yeah, <laughs> I just think he, like he's like, a man. I don't think she Taylor, deserves that. I don't think Taylor should end up with anyone. She has to be so careful. She has to guard her heart. I don't think she should end up with someone who's had a reality show because that, to me, it just... Oh, I keep forgetting that about The him. auspices aren't good. Like, when someone's had a reality show, it speaks to a fundamental a flaw. A missing part of the brain. Yeah, like, it speaks to a God-sized hole that they have <laughs> that they're trying to fill with, like, the air around Taylor. And she needs someone who can see through it all. They must be higher than any drug can take you right now. Yeah. <laughs> the high they must be feeling. I know. Someone who's 
uh, not in this world. I know nothing about her. Other than you're in this world. No, I just mean like I'm not a tailor. I don't, I don't listen. I don't well, you're participate. Here now. But I'm here now. <laughs> for better or worse. I feel like she. I've never seen her so happy. Yeah. I know. Things but are really going good. I, She's I really to, grinning. I have to say, I think the reality TV thing seemed like a branded move from his people, like to get him out there. Like I don't. I think, know, he doesn't but I don't seem want like someone that who's wanted to be out there. I don't want someone whose people are trying to get him out there anywhere near Taylor. <laughs> yeah, okay. that, that's the most Fair dangerous enough. thing she could be around is someone whose people is trying to get him out there. Okay. Let me ask you this: What are our segments? Um, <laughs> Do you feel hot today? Or crush of the week? Crush of the week. Crush of the week. Crush of the my crush of the week. Is my new coffee order? Yeah. Ever since I went to goes to Australia once, I went. I, first of all, I had the best time. First of all, second of all, third of all, thank you so much for everyone who came out to my shows in Melbourne, Sydney, and Auckland. It was the most dreamy time in my life. I feel so lucky. I'm the luckiest girl in the world. And then s- s- thank you to everyone who's come out to Iowa City, Nashville, Pittsburgh, Fort Worth. Touring is like the highest high and the lowest lows, and it's just a bliss. And I'm so grateful that you guys buy tickets. Um, what I was going to say about Aust- going to Australia, it's a real coffee town. It's a real coffee and pastry town. Yeah. And so my crush of the week is almond lattes. Because for so long, I was so lost. I was so lost. I knew oat milk wasn't for me and I was it lost and I was scared. Me. And I knew whole milk wasn't for me. And I knew the ni- skim is for the 90s, 1990s. Yeah, but that's what I love about it. I know. But then <laughs> when I realized that almond was for me. Yeah. For now. Skim is the diet cook of milk. A hundred percent. And almond is Coke Zero. <laughs> yeah. Almond is Coke and Zero. And oat is not Coke. Oat is di- is Pepsi. I know. Look at me. Oat how, is Pepsi. How do you feel about when people refer to regular milk as cow milk? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, drop the cow. Um, It doesn't bother me. I think it's cool. I think they're trying to make this statement. Cow like, milk. I think like, they're trying to be political. Like, like, you disgusting pig, you're drinking from a cow. No, not even that. Like, I think they're trying to be like, it's 2023. Like, milk can look like anything. Sure. So, just because you say milk, it doesn't mean it's this kind of milk. And if you want that kind of milk, then you need to say cow milk. Right. Because right. milk isn't just this. Right. Milk doesn't mean one thing. And it's anymore. like, shut up. <laughs> Sit Give down. Give me milk. Shut up. Sit down. Drop the cow. And drop the cow. <gasps> um, Cow milk. Oh, you know what I just thought about? A, a, a company that's emblematic of 2001. Uh huh. Maybe even 2000. I mean, it's still what, around, I'm milk? sure. Skinny Cow. You know I love Skinny Cow. <laughs> I know. Uh, I had Skinny Cow like two if weeks ago. If your mom got Skinny Cow, If you, you are... are part of the Skinny Cow community, you never like... Skinny Cow is fucking amazing. I'll never... Here, cut to me. Here, t- I'm taking my first... First of all, summer after my junior year of college. Yeah. I'm taking an improv class at UCB. I'm living in my friend's apartment in the East Village. I'm watching 30 Rock all day alone yeah. in bed. I have one Skinny Cow. It's so good. I go, you know what's healthy? I'm going to have another one. I eat four in a row. Of course. Four in a row. Of course. Four in a row. And then slept with one guy. <laughs> Left the condom on the floor. Slept with another guy. He goes, why is there that condom there? And I go, that's from someone else. <laughs> and then we got in a fight. Um, that those people had the same name. Are you serious? I used um, to be fun. I know. I, I used, used to, use to sex, be fun. I used to sex. I used that's because I used to be young. I, that's a great song. I'm trying to connect to it. Like, I can't. No, no. I love the song, but you know when there's a song that's so good and it's like so emotional that you're like, I wish this could like connect uh-huh. with my current emotional state so I could feel it, but I so don't. So true. It's not quiet. <laughs> Soon you'll be buying yourself flowers. Yeah. Holding your own hand. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> my crush of the week, I'll like, oh, sorry, right. throw it back and say like, I think our first episode back, it's the perfect time to make my crush of the week the garden. What was it we used to do where we were like, mood? Oh, that was like COVID related. Oh, okay. What about skin? And hair and nails. Didn't we used to talk about that? Not really not nails. Okay. But <laughs> um, well, my skin is in such a funny place because I, I do feel tan in some areas. You, you are very tan. <laughs> and then like. You're tan where you can rub. Yeah. Tan I'm, as far as you can rub. If I could rub it, I'm tan there. <laughs> <laughs> I've, well, you know, my whole journey was that. First of all, I want to say something. Clean. What do you keep meaning by when you say that? Sure. So thank you. <laughs> a, I saw a TikTok where this woman says, if you want to bring love into your life, the word to say is clean. Clean. Okay. Can't hurt. Yeah. How do you spell it? K-L-E-E-M. She's like, just wait to see what's going to happen to you. I have my first in-person audition today. I'm going to clean. Yeah. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Hi, clean. I'm <laughs> waiting to hear about a job that I want so bad. Well, clean it. Clean it. Um. <laughs> I hope it doesn't mean something bad, but. I don't think so. Me and Bets can Betsy mm-hmm. Kenny used to um 
She had a friend whose last name was Cleaming, and we'd always call him Cleam. 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 I saw her. Well, that person always a lot of love in their life. During my Philly shows, I went over and saw her on the mic. That's nice. It's so nice to connect with old friends. Old friends are all that matter. They actually are. I know, because new friends, you can't trust them. You actually can't trust anyone new. You know, now we're old because we've been everyone, friends for seven years. Everyone you meet after 2022 is fake. You can't trust. If you met someone, po- I would say even if you met someone like 2019, 2020. You didn't even meet them. You met some bizarre robot person. Exactly. You, everyone's fake. Yeah. <laughs> But my heart's open. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to be positive. I don't. My heart's open when I'm at an event. <laughs> I just like don't want to be a bitter hag. Like I literally love life and I want to enjoy it forever. Yeah. But also people are awful. Yeah. But you know why? Why? I'm listening to Tara Brock's Radical Acceptance. Yeah. Everyone just wants to love. <laughs> and if you hate someone, picture them as a baby. If you hate someone, picture them in the arms okay, of someone they love. I say this in my thing. You know what's interesting is like... What's your thing? Uh, my essay. Oh, sure. <laughs> like... Gay threads. <laughs> uh, gay threads. I say this on gay threads all the time. Like, you know... You've had too much coffee. People are always like... It's like, okay, children are like mm-hmm. emblematic of like a gentle innocence mm-hmm. and like ever, but like that's not true. Like they're the meanest people <laughs> in the world. Like they're known for their ability for cruelty. That's true. When you're when the girl you babysat kept calling me fat, which isn't bad. <laughs> <laughs> she was complimenting. But I, you know what I'm reclaiming? Like, yeah, I would like to be thinner. Like I'm allowed I'm just, I said I'm allowed to say that now. Like leave me alone. And like, yeah. I want my and, clothes to fit. And when a therapist is like, picture yourself as a child, what do you say that about him? I'm always like, no, but they would say that and then things twelve times meaner about me. A hundred percent. Um, you know, I have a new joke about that. Really? About a therapist telling me, like, what I say that to myself. That's so funny. Parallel thought. We always do it on stage, don't do it on the page. <laughs> <laughs> stage and page. That's you know like who our... I'm, like, annoyed with? Can't wait. <laughs> page. Do you know what that mean? Not, not the name page. But if I say the word page, who do you think of? My friend page. Okay, but don't think of it. <laughs> <laughs> don't think of it as a name. Okay, wait, I want to get this. I want like, to get this. I'm, I'm saying on the page. Yeah. Like, who do we both know? <laughs> who works on the page? And you know her less time than I do. Hmm. hmm. Can I have another clue? Mm. <laughs> 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 you look really you look really hot in that picture I posted of us, by the way. I know, thank God. <laughs> I need some water. Like, who was it? <sighs> You'll tell me off air. Yeah. Page. Page, the page. I just have one of my best friends is named Page. So I'm like, you well, can't. obviously you're talking you about Page. To, you have to disconnect. <laughs> no, I'm very literal. We have to have Page DeSorbo on the pod. We need. Yeah. We need we a crossover. Have have we need yeah. a crossover with yeah. them. Page, I think, likes me because she's a huge Hex fan. Oh, nice. Yeah. I, you know, Hannah and I have the exact same birthday. I love Hannah, but I never see her, do I? <laughs> no, I went on her pod a while ago and I haven't seen her since. I know. They, they've, they're touring the world. They've made the choice not to have me on their pod. But we girled out in Montreal last summer. I think I want to go to Montreal. Yeah. It's so funny. You know, I did JFL New Faces. And then, like, every time they do, like, a new, like, then, like, this year JFL Montreal, like, lots of the New Faces alums were, like, hosting the shows and stuff. Mm, that's I didn't so interesting. ask, but I have spoken out against them, like, many times. So maybe they're like, <laughs> maybe we won't reach out. No, I don't But think I love you, it. JFL. I, lo- I actually love <laughs> you. You gave me my start. You gave me my chance. I've had the best time at JF- JFL because it was JFL Sydney, where yeah. you to, which is so fun. Well, and JFL the, Toronto was so fun. It's always interesting. I did JFL Toronto, like, last year. Did you like it? Kind of. We, it's always interesting when it's like just another city and they're like, no, this is JFL too. And you're like, is it? I know. Why not? Um, what were you saying? I was trying to get you to guess who I was thinking sure. of. Sure, we'll do that with. after. Okay, Crush the Week we did. We did today. almond milk latte in the garden. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and there's so sex today. Like, I don't know if I'm hot, but I'm happy. I feel like hot in general right now, but like this isn't, it's so interesting, like... I've always wanted to sit in a chair next to you. <laughs> I, like, some days I feel actually so hot. Mm-hmm. And then, like, today was chest day. And sometimes those are the days I feel the hottest. Mm. And I did went, to, I did go to take images afterwards, potentially for gay threads. It just wasn't how it can sometimes be. So I feel hot, like, in a macro sense. But in terms of the micro day-to-day, like, I don't feel my hottest today. It's so hard for me when you talk about the gym. Why? I feel bad. I just oh, like, I'm sorry. Can't listen. Why? Oh, you feel just, bad like for me that you're not listening. 
Yeah, I just, oh, I don't care. But I don't. I want to. I actually. I you always say you want to come with me. I know it's like it's a block with me. It's like it's one of the things where like you know you should do something so you feel oh, weird about don't. it. Like, no, no, no. Like I, I really want to get into weightlifting again. Yeah. Like before my stroke, I was yeah. getting back into it, and yeah. I think I'm like I also am scared of working out kind of since totally. everything that makes sense. And I just, it, I just like I really want to feel like strong. Yeah. So I think we we'll go and break. Yeah. We'll go and break. We'll go and break. Um. um Hot crush. I'm mad. Are you mad at me? Because I talk about the gym. No, I was more like, I'm sorry that I'm not listening as well about oh, the gym. Oh, no, no. I don't care if anyone listens to Are you mad at gym. me because I can't heal your heart? My heart's not broken. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> um, bruised, but not broken. Neither bruised nor oh, broken. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm doing amazing. I love my life. Me too. Um, <laughs> do you, you're not mad at me and I'm not mad at you. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Um, are, are we getting lunch? Remember there was like a rumor oh, yesterday? Oh, there was, there was. <laughs> I'm sick of room of starting. I'm, I'm sick, sick of, of being bothered. bothered. Okay, cool. Oh my God. Oh, right. We were having proteins and vegetables. Yeah. Vegetables. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you for supporting. And thank you to HeadGum for being our new home. And what else? That's kind of it. HeadGum. <laughs> <laughs> That was a HeadGum Podcast.